господа, нас ожидают 10 раундов бокса за титул чемпиона мира IBA весовой категории до 60 килограммов. Представляю соперников и первым боксера в черном углу ринга. Ему 30 лет. Его рост 168 сантиметров. На весах он показал 59,8 килограмма. Он представляет Кагаян де Оро Филиппины. Его рекорд насчитывает 35 побед. Только одно поражение. 24 победы нокаута. Чемпион IBF Asia в легком весе. Чемпион IBF и WBO Intercontinental во втором легчайшем весе. Альберт. Принц Пагара! Его сопернику в золотом углу ринга 26 лет. Его рост 169 сантиметров, а вес 59,9 килограмма. Он представляет Нижневартовск, Россия. Четырехкратный чемпион России. Олимпийский чемпион Токио, не знающий поражений, с рекордом 11 боев, 11 побед, 8 из них нокаутом. Временный чемпион... Найс кулам батин са ating latest донор, но... А шаут-аут босс Гестер Толедо Пром, Бислиг Суригау. Ин шаут-аут сайо айдол, босс Гестер Толедо Пром, Бислиг Суригау. Touch of gloves between the two. Over Balagaziev. Boxing out of that gold corner. Albert Pagara of the Philippines. Giving away four years in age. And you look at Balagaziev and 26 years old with all that amateur experience behind him and now in his 12th professional fight and the progress he's made everything looks like it's being timed very very nicely and it'll be good to see a big performance from him tonight this is either world 60 kilo title so there's 132 pounds rather than the 130 pounds of super featherweight Radikaziev in the dark green, black and gold Pagara in the luminous green. Chipping away with the jab there, Badagaziev goes up and down with it. He's got a long, long reach on him. Wide shoulders. Pretty wide stance, he's got that nice balance. You see that left hand into the body there. It's a really good performance against John O'Carroll. As I say, he touched down with the glove and it should have been called a knockdown in the early rounds. He was caught with a right hook high on the head and Carroll went after him from the start, actually. He said during the week that, yes, OK, fine, he was a very, very good amateur, but that didn't mean that he would make a good pro. He was going to drag him in deep and see if he could swim. And as it turned out, he very much could. But I think it was the right thing for Carroll to try and do. And he gave it every shot, really. Badagaziev was up to the challenge. Pagara not offering too much early on here.
Yeah, works for the body there for Banigaziev. Nice variation. Pagara just tucking up in that opening round and just having a look, really. If you're going to pull onto the back foot, particularly up against the ropes where you're trapped, feeling like you can ride shots, you might find that you can't. Quite in range just yet, but is he up in this round for Gara? Let's go with a, a right hand. Just holding out that left hand to try and keep Badagaziev at bay just to block his vision slightly. Badagaziev goes to the body and then just tries to curl that left hand in round the back there. Just turn the fist over, turn the knuckles over. Pagara out of range there. He's staying on the borderline at best. Badagazia working to the body. He's not done anything at all yet, Albert Pagara, really. It is early, of course. Steps in and looks to let a one two go there. I do wonder how ambitious he's going to be here, though, if I'm honest. Putting too much on these punches, Badagazi. I'm just working those hands, moving those hands. He knows that there's not much coming back here from Pagara, who might just come back with the, the odd flurry. I think this may be what we see here when you've got an opponent who is looking to kind of tuck up, really, not give an awful lot away, and then mount the, the odd attack. In other words, not be particularly ambitious. This is kind of what you. Get. He, he will throw the odd flurry because he wanted to try and keep Badagaziev with something to think about and maintain almost the illusion. Right. 
so into the third. Just dipping his knees there, Badagazia, working down to the body. And he's using that reach, keeping this at distance. Good left hand there. Bagara steps in and throws a one two. Again, just switching up there, Badagaziev. And this is what he's doing so far. You can see he's not putting loads into these punches. He's just letting his hands go. And again, he's looking for that left hand in round the back there. He's slinging it in, kind of lassoing it in, trying to find a gap around the back of that right glove to connect with the knuckles. Stop! Stay. Please. Is the shoelace undone? I think that could be the problem. He was just blinking his eye at touch there, Pagara, as well. Box. Nice solid one, two there from Balagazia, and that's backed him up. Pagara, I think, felt that one, unless he's just trying to suffer him into the corner, into the final minute of round three. He's trying to keep that guard high. The Filipino, left to the body from Balagazia. Manages to find his way out of the corner eventually there, Pagara. And I think what we have here is what we had in the previous fight, and I suspected we might, which is a big difference in levels between these two fighters. Pagara, I think, will stick to his task in the way that Leon Half did to an extent, slightly different stylistically, but just as Gadjimagomedov was a lot better than Leon Half, Albert Panagaziev. I think it's quite apparent is a lot better than Albert Pagara. Into the fourth, the bad guys here again, just stepping in there and looking to let those hands go. Pagara, a little bit bolder there, comes forward and tries to throw that right hand. And the first three rounds have gone by, and he's three rounds down. Pagara, and he'll be aware that he needs to do something. I think there's been a clash of heads there, isn't there? Been a cut on the forehead there of Pagara. He's dabbing at the forehead. I don't think the is necessarily it can be hard for fighters to tell because you have a clash of heads and you feel that bit of warmth whether it's just the the blood coming to the surface of a slight bruise or it's an actual cut and it's difficult to know what it is so that's often why you'll see a fighter dab 
with the glove and then look at the glove just to check. But there again, just nice economy from Balagatia. Goes up to the head and then goes down to the body and he sinks that head in between those big shoulders and makes himself quite a difficult target to find. And he'll know that he's probably booking in for a long job here because, well, Pagara just shaking up that left hand. Maybe there's a slight problem with that left arm now. And again, he's just been tattooed there by Badekaziev, who is going through the process here of trying to break his man down. If you're up against somebody who is looking to not give too much away and is more defensively minded, then what it means is they'll be braced for most of what you throw. And if a pro fighter is braced for punches, then they can generally take them and survive them. And that's why the, the variety of angle, of punch, of weight of punches, really important here for Badagazia because he's got to try and hit Pagara with something that he's not really ready for. So he has to dress it up in a way that he doesn't quite see it coming or it crashes through with a bit more power than he's really expecting. Again, he just shakes out that lead hand there for Gara. I think there is something wrong. Or it could be that he's laying the foundations for a, for a retirement. Again, that might sound like a harsh thing to say, but he is getting worked over. there for Pagara. Touch of gloves between the two. Badagaziev doing what he needs. Seconds out. Well, this is the problem that we spoke about previously with that lead arm, with that left arm. And I did say that he'd been shaking it out, that there was an issue. And I did also say that possibly he was laying the foundation for a corner retirement, and that is what has happened. I'm not saying that the injury isn't genuine.
always respect between fighters. He was supposed to fight Nicholas Walter, so Vicaro came in at relatively short notice, so he needs to be thanked for taking the step up and making sure that Van 